Hello, this is Ute from Ute Circle Witch Corner. I wish you a happy Saturday and enjoy the weather. And today I thought, because I said something about Valerian in my last video, today I want to talk to you about Valerian. So, Valerian is, yeah, I want to say we call this, or it is called in Germany Valdrian, and it's a common, um, herbal medication you take in Germany when you are nervous or when you're exhausted. And yeah, it's really, if you ask somebody in Germany and say, Hey, I need something. I'm totally or take Baldrian. That's what it called there. So, and here it's called Valerian and we have Valerian here in capsule form. So you take, I want to show it in this camera, 60 capsules and you take one capsule in the morning or if needed maximum three times per day so the medical medicinal valerian it's called valeriana office officiana <laughs> uh, is one of the most important herbal and no addictive sedatives this is important so because even if you take um valerian slash baltrian over a long time period for a daily base um you will not be addicted like yeah, what normally happens if you take the pills from the doctor or over the counter, you can be very, very fast addicted to it. Valerian is totally different. And that's with all our herbal medicine. You cannot um, get an addiction to valerian or any other herbs. Um, it is used for sleep issues and mild nervous disorder as valerian tea or valerian drops, for example. I have just at the moment or for years now, um, the capsules, the herbal capsules, but if the demand is there, I can also make valerian tea or valerian tincture. So if you said, ah, I don't want the pills and can you please? Yes, I can. And I will. So it's totally up to you, but I'm not stocking up the store or the shop with three different kinds, like the tincture, the pills and the tea. If the demand is not here. All right. So valerian is considered a gentle herbal sleep aid, as I said, and is traditionally used to relieve anxiety and sleep disorder. So anxiety, um, if I took, for example, um, valerian, when I had to go to the doctor, to the dentist, um, I guess it's nearly seven, eight years ago. Um, and I have a phobia for dentists and I didn't went to the dentist for over more, so mm -hmm, 20 years. So, um, but there is a point that you have to go and to get off my anxiety and get more relaxed for the procedure he was telling me he has to do. Um, I took Valerian before I went to the dentist. Okay. It wasn't blessed. I wasn't happy with the full procedure because yeah telling you the truth, they took all the leftover, I want to say, out of my mouth and um, gave me dentures. And it was a long procedure until everything was sitting perfectly as it has to. And it was expensive. But now if I have any issues, I just take my dentures, bring it to the dentist and say, fix it. <laughs> um, okay, that's just on the side note. But I took Valerian because I don't want to take any uh, medication the even the dentist said he can he can give me before I'm coming to the dentist for the whole situation there and I said oh, no 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 I mm -mm, I'm taking my valerian and I will be fine so and it was so okay my uh, whole family was with me but yeah it's it's a long time ago and I'm done with it but valerian was my partner in crime I want to say so valerian um, can also help with mild nervous tension and relieve nervous um, palpitation. So when your heart is more like boom, 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 so because you are nervous or you are anxious or whatever, and your heart is beating and you can feel it. So this is valerian can smooth it down. Uh, indirectly, you can say valerian have a positive effect on your heart with a calming effect, because as I said, your heart is not shaking or whatever you want to say, if you are nervous, have anxiety or whatever the reason is that your heart is getting too fast with valerian, it will slow down to the normal level and yeah, it will help you. Um, 
and it's definitely working. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you ever get the smell from Valerian. It's it's disgusting. <laughs> it's easily uh, recognized by its characteristic smell. It smells like isovaleric acid and therefore not exactly pleasant. Yeah, I want to say in my own words, when I'm working with Valerian, the whole house stinks. And Ken already said, okay, Valerian again. I said, mm hmm But in my words, it smells, it stinks like kupu. It's terrible. But yeah, I mean, it's helping. And there are a couple of herbs. They have a, a smell you would say, mm -hmm. no. And that's why I don't know. Um, when I said earlier, I can make uh, tinctures or teas. Tinctures, I think I can get the smell a little bit down when I make the tinctures with, but I cannot use glycerin because it's the root. So I have to take vodka to make the tincture. But a tea, I really don't know how it tastes and how you're feeling when you open a tea bag for with valerian tea roots, um, valerian roots, and you open the bag and and you get this, yeah, this. <laughs> I don't know if you would like it. Um, that's really, really terrible. But as I said, um, it helps and it is part of Valerian. That's the, the, yeah, the mark you can realize it's Valerian. It's just, okay, Valerian. <laughs> um, there are, as I said, other um, plants with strong aromas. I don't even want to say aroma it stinks and that's why there is a nickname for valerian root it's called stinky root which is perfect and you know what it was earlier hundreds of years ago it was used to ward off evil spirits so and then you take the valerian root and they they fly or run or whatever away so yeah it's it's terrible the the benefits is perfect i love it but the smell is, whoa, <laughs> um, there's nothing you can cover it up. It is, it is what it is. So even when the capsules, you, you, you can swallow it. There is no taste, no anything. But even when you open, when you open this, the capsule, um, you open it and even the capsules are closed. You can immediately, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the stinky root. This is nothing you can cover up. I mean, it is what it is. Um, to DTC, our last video about our stop, because it's really hot and it's really getting more and more of the mosquitoes and the, the first bees are out and the wasps are out. I don't want to kill them, but mosquitoes, uh, have a look on our last video we had about this bug, non-toxic bug spray. And by the way, did you ever see a video about our arthritis oil? Ken will put a link for both of them. I don't know, here or here, somewhere here. <laughs> um, so you can watch the video if you want to. Okay. So I think that's it for today. No, 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 no. Please. Don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. We are still growing and growing and I don't want to say the numbers anymore because they are getting up and up and up and up and I'm totally out of order. I, I don't know how many subscribers we have. I know our channel is growing like we want to and it's just because of you. Thank you. We are totally excited. So um, the farmer's market is around the corner. We'll start in the first week of June. So. All right, here we are waiting for it. No, you're not, but I, <laughs> I have to. I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor and I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. Everything we are sharing with you about our herbs um, and all of our products we have with our herbs is from our own experience or from the experience from our customer, friends and family. So we will never, ever give you any medical advice. If you need medical advice regarding from Valerian, if you can take it or if it will be good for you, um, please contact your doctor. Any question regarding herbs, here we are. Come to us, to our store or website or youtube channel or facebook we will we will be there for you and answer all the questions okay um yeah that's it for now and for today 
Until next weekend with a new video. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Love and light. Your Ute from Ute Server Witch Corner. Ciao, ciao.